Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Congressman Honda. It's an honor to appear before you today, along with my colleagues from Legacies of War and the Humpty Dumpty Institute, to discuss this important issue. The Mines Advisory Group, better known as MAG, is an international humanitarian organization that saves lives and builds futures by destroying weapons in conflict-affected countries. MAG is currently working in 35 countries across the globe, helping communities to escape the poverty and devastation caused by conflict. I serve on the board of MAG's U.S. partner, MAG America. In 1994, MAG established operations in Laos in cooperation with the Mennonite Central Committee and the Lao National Committee for Social and Veterans Affairs. MAG thus became the first international NGO to begin clearing the country of its extensive UXO contamination. As we've heard from preceding testimony, Laos is one of the most heavily UXO contaminated countries in the world. A thorough survey of the country has never been completed and much of the land along the eastern border is densely forested. The National Regulatory Authority in Laos is currently addressing this shortcoming by developing a national contamination database and a clearer picture of the remaining amount of UXO will become available in the not too distant future. A point that is indisputable and uh, most important to note is that serious levels of UXO contamination in Laos continue to have an extremely detrimental and damaging impact on the country's people, its economy, and its future. Widespread contamination restricts economic growth by limiting the population's ability to grow cash crops, thereby forcing many individuals and families into subsistence farming. Those efforts at subsistence farming are themselves hampered by the presence of UXO. Since the inception of MAG's program in 1994, our approach has not focused solely on finding and destroying UXO and cluster munitions. Rather, MAG has seen its clearance activities as the first step in relieving the very problems I've just mentioned. Currently, MAG operates in Kumwan and Zhengquang provinces, two of the most contaminated provinces in the country where our goal is to alleviate poverty through safe and effective UXO clearance. MAG achieves this by linking its activities and strategies to the Lao National Growth and Poverty Eradication Strategy. UXO clearance is one of the three poverty-related programs outlined in this national strategy, and MAG is committed to achieving the clearance targets and priorities set forth in the government's plan. MAG also partners with and clears land in support of development agencies such as the World Food Program, World Vision, and the Lao Red Cross. By linking directly with development projects, MAG contributes to improved food security and provides access to basic services and infrastructure to the sum of the poorest, most marginalized communities in Laos. This integrated approach ensures that our grassroots interventions, intervention makes an impact not only for our beneficiary communities, but also at the regional and national level. An impact assessment that MAG completed in 2009 has proven that MAG's work results in much more than cleared land. 63% of village groups interviewed in Kumwan and 83% in Zhengquang reported increased yield and productivity following clearance conducted by MAG. Some households reported that they could now plow their land more deeply because they were confident they would not be injured as a result, again increasing agricultural productivity. As a result of increased crop yield, approximately three out of four respondents said their household income had increased. In addition to eradicating poverty, MAG's work was proven to improve people's sense of security and self-respect by removing a sense of risk and hopelessness associated with UXO contamination, 97% of people interviewed in Kumwan and 94% in Zhengquang reported feeling a restored sense of pride and a greater feeling of safety and security for themselves and their families. MAG's program in Laos currently employs 235 individuals, 239, 229 of which are national staff members. MAG also hires community members temporarily to cut vegetation in village assistance, uh, assisted clearance. And for example, in the last quarter of 2009, uh, nearly 1,000 community members were employed in such projects. 
by employing individuals from the local community mag builds a sustainable capacity and empowers laotians to play a key role in their recovery from conflict we actively recruit women and individuals who have been disabled from uxo accidents as they are too often the most marginalized members of their community. MAG has been able to achieve these results thanks to support from its donors, including the U.S. Department of State's Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement, the U.K.'s Department for International Development, the European Union, AusAid from Australia, and World Vision. Oncoin support from the State Department has resulted in the destruction of over 30,000 items of UXO. In another project, over uh, 2.6 million square meters of land was cleared for agricultural use, infrastructure development, access to water, and schools in a project funded by the Humpty Dumpty Institute and the U.S. Department of Agriculture in a space of a year in 2008 and 2009. Unfortunately, as been mentioned by my colleagues, the investment, or perhaps more aptly put, the disinvestment made in contaminating Laos with UXO has far outweighed the investment made in cleaning it up. The UXO clearance, a clearance, clearance assets currently deployed by MAG and other operators are not adequate to tackle the extensive challenge presented by such widespread contamination. With limited resources, MAG focuses on the poorest, most threatened communities and clearing enough land to enable them to grow crops and have a sustainable food source year-round. Additional support would enable MAG and other organizations to scale up their operations to address these urgent cases more quickly and then tackle other unmet demands such as clearance of land for larger scale farming, commerce, and trade, thereby increasing the multiplier effect of clearance on poverty eradication. In closing, I would like to thank the U.S. government, in particular the Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement, for its ongoing support to MAG's Laos program. I would also like to ask the U.S. government to provide additional funding for UXO clearance in Laos. Without increased support, the men, women, and children of Laos will continue to be killed, injured, and impoverished by the legacy of our secret war. Thank you.